Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam and welcome back to the AFI Project. Today we're going to be taking a look at maybe one of the most beloved films of all time, The Wizard of Oz. By just saying those four words, The Wizard of Oz, you know exactly what I'm talking about. This may be one of the most rewatched and, as I said, beloved movies of all time. I know me personally, I've seen this movie maybe a hundred times, maybe more. That's a conservative estimate. But it's just one of those movies that just doesn't get old and still continues to amaze me to this very day. I mean, you know this story. Girl goes, leaves her home in Kansas and enters the magical land of Oz. A wicked witch is trying to steal the ruby slippers. The girl meets the scarecrow, tin man, and cowardly lion, and they all travel to see the see the the Wizard of Oz. But doing research for this review, I was I was just sitting there like I would have loved to have been alive when this movie was being made because. This may have been one of the craziest movies like ever made. I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when this movie premiered because people would have been like, "Color movies? What is this? Ma what is this magic?" But in doing research, I did find that this movie was pretty much a miracle. It was a miracle that it even got off the ground and got even finished. Because this movie went through four different directors. The build director for this movie is Victor Fleming, who directed Gone with the Wind. But there were three other directors that saw it through to the end. The original director for The Wizard of Oz was a gentleman named Richard Thorpe, but he lasted about two weeks. Then it was passed on to George Cukor, who was then released, if my memory served me right. It was then given to Victor Fleming, who did a bulk of the work. However, d his directing conflicts with Gone with the Wind forced him out, and a gentleman by the name of, let me read this right, King Vidor finished it. Man, it's a good thing The Wizard of Oz didn't come out today, otherwise people would have been treating it like we treat New Mutants. But all joking aside, this movie is still just a wonder. Firstly, let's talk about the talk about the color, because the color in the movie is still just, it's, it's just so beautiful. The movie starts out in Kansas, and it's basically in brown and white. I would normally say black and white, but it's brown and white. I still don't know how Victor Fleming was able to pull this off, but as soon as Dorothy opens that door, and they enter the land of color in the land of Oz, it goes from brown and white to just smacking you in the face with color. It blows my mind just thinking about it right now. And the set design is equally as impressive. I mean, you've got the Munchkin Village, you know, you've got the forest, you've got the Witch's Castle, you've got the Emerald City, you've got the Wizard's Throne Room. There are just so many just beautiful locations that were built. It's just, it's just, it's just awesome. It's, it's awesome. And to my surprise, the songs in the movie still held up really well. I think my favorite ones are Somewhere Over the Rainbow in the beginning and the Cowardly Lion song, If I Were King of the Forest, etc. They're all, they're all great, but those are my two favorites. I really don't know if L. Frank Baum intended The Wizard of Oz to be a musical, but I think it will forever be known as a musical, for the better. And similar to the director's chair, it was a revolving door of people playing Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and the Cowardly Lion. But the people that they ended up getting in the end was about as good as they could get, and now their roles have become iconic. Especially Judy Garland as Dorothy, who had a long career afterwards, and well, if you saw the movie Judy, it didn't really end well. Other than that, though, she is really good in the movie. Simply put, if you've never seen The Wizard of Oz, which is highly unlikely since I think every living person on the planet and their mother has seen The Wizard of Oz, but if for some reason you have never seen it, go see it, because it is, it's just a staggering achievement. But that is all for me, guys. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Next time on the project, we're going to be taking a look at Charlie Chaplin's final film as his famous role, The Tramp, City Lights. 
But if you liked this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.